Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Artie. I give advice on health, wealth, and happiness. And in this three-part series, this is actually part three of this series, I'm going to show you how you can actually save a bunch of money. Now, I went to the bank and withdrew this because I wanted to show that anybody can show off all of their money. So don't believe those people with rented Lamborghinis, rented mansions, and all of their savings account withdrawn on a table so that they can flash it in front of your eyes. Anybody can withdraw money. Anybody can look like that. But in this three-part video series, I'm actually showing you how you can save money and be financially independent, be financially secure for your life and actually plan for retirement so that when you stop working, you'll have money and you won't have to worry. Okay, guys, let's jump right into it. In this part of the video series, step number one is going to be spending money intelligently. What I mean by this is setting a list of priorities, like a new dress or new shoes is going to be very low on your priority list, whereas buying food to like feed your family is going to be number one on the priority list. Spend money on the absolute essentials first. Now I'm talking about food, toilet paper, rent, the things that are absolute necessities, like you need them to survive. You need to set these number one on your priority list. Step number two is saving for an emergency fund. I know the whole point of this video is saving money, but I need you to set aside separate savings for an emergency fund. Something in case, you know, a flat tire or God forbid some medical thing happens and you need to go to the hospital, you need to go to the doctor, you need to get antibiotics and you don't have you know time to wait at your normal doctor through your insurance like you need a quick fix now and you can only go to quick care or emergent care these things you need to have a small little nugget saved up so in case things happen you don't have to worry you can just like break in case of emergency just smash the glass of your little nugget use that money and pay for the quick emergency expense you know flat tires happen we're driving down the road and then boom we hit a nail we got to fix it and it's nice to have that quick little nugget of a security blanket. So always save for an emergency fund. I like to keep at least $2,000 in my emergency fund. Step number three in this process is paying off your debt. Now, the faster that you can pay off your debt, the faster that you can actually start saving your money and keeping your own money because you got yourself into debt. And that's the problem. You borrowed money from somebody not knowing if you could pay it back. And the, the crappy thing about borrowing money is that it's got interest tacked onto it. So that $1,000 or that $3,000 that you borrowed from somebody that you didn't have the money for because you wanted to get some extra points or percentages or loyalty reward membership, that $1,000 turned into $4,000 over 10 years. So when people get loyalty points or rewards, they're not free. They're not like, oh, you're getting, you know, 5% cash back. No, they're just taking that money from somewhere else. Everybody's paying interest on these credit cards. And that interest is a hundred times more money than they're actually loaning out. So don't borrow money. It's stupid. Unless it's 0% and you can pay it off that week or that month, don't do credit cards and pay off your debt as quickly as possible because a $1,000 loan turns into a $5,000 loan before you even realize it. So we've gone through all the steps. Now, when you're setting aside money, you need to know where to put it, whether it's gonna be a savings account or like I said earlier, a retirement account, but you can't just put your money, you shouldn't put your money just simply into a bank account. You should take your money and you should watch this video that I made on investing and how to put it into an index fund. An index fund that matches the stock market that gains approximately 9% on average per year over the life of this of the existence of this stock, this index fund. So gaining 9% interest on your money, being able to put it away in that nice safe spot. I know it's gonna go down, I know it's gonna hurt because of the whole value of your portfolio went down, but I can promise you if you buy more, while it's down because it's on sale, it'll go back up and you'll make even more money. So just every month, don't even think about what the price is. Every month, just blindly put into this 
And over the course of life, unless the whole world explodes and there's a zombie apocalypse, I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. But this is also just my opinion. I'm not a financial expert. Don't take my word as law. And please don't sue me if you lose money. But it's what I do. And I seriously, seriously believe in it. The last two parts to this thing, because I want you to have a comfortable life. I don't want you to save all your money and then when you're 65 have money, but you've done nothing in your life fun until you were 65. That is not the point of this video. Life is very, very short. My brother died when he was 29 years old. So I know any day you can get hit by a bus and all of your savings went for nothing because you didn't get to enjoy it. So the last two steps are going to be spending money on non-essentials. So what I mean is you save money, you spend money on your essentials. Like that's your, the top of your priority list. But now you're, you're getting into things that would make your life better, would make your life more comfortable. Like, I don't know, a nice chair that has a nice arch and back support because your current chair sits like this and it squeaks. It's okay to save, to spend money on these things to make your life a little bit better. If your shoes have holes in the bottom, please get some better shoes. Your feet are going to thank you. Your back is going to thank you. You're going to look a little bit better. I'm not saying live like a homeless person, guys. I'm just saying set your priorities. Food and groceries and then other things in life and then the non-essential things that you need. So chair with back support and shoes, really good for your, for your body, good for your health good for your mental attitude. And the last thing that I want to cover is money for vacations. I want you to take a vacation every single year, twice a year, if you can afford it. The more money you make, the more money you can save. The more money you make and the more money you save and the budget that you have planned out is going to make you financially comfortable. You're going to have money saved up. You're going to have money invested. You're going to have money for an emergency fund. You're going to have money to covering all of your living expenses. And then you're going to have money left over for vacations. You have vacation time from work. You need a break from reality. You need to get a tan. You need to have a beer on the beach. It's okay to have vacations. I want you to have vacations. They're super healthy. I love taking vacations because my skin looks so much better when it's brown. So... Also set aside money for vacations. They can be staycations in, you know, your area. You can hop in a hotel and, you know, enjoy the spa and the jacuzzi and the sauna. Or you can find some place close to you that has, you know, a nice little resort with like an all-inclusive package where food and drinks are included. Take your family. Spend time with them. It's super important to be with your family to, to enjoy your life. Life is super short, guys. So these are my techniques. This is things that you can do over the course of your life that are going to get you financially secure. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to have all this, you know, financial freedom right away. But at first you get your security net, then you get your savings, then you get your investings, then you, you know, pay for yourself, then you buy nicer clothes, then you have vacations. It's growth. It's non-linear growth. You start here and you start saving and you start saving and you start saving. And then like 10, 15 years down the line, you're like, wow, why didn't I start this sooner? I'm such, I'm in such a better spot right now financially that I can take care of everything. I have money and I have time. I feel comfortable and I feel safe and I'm not stressed and my relationship is better because we're not worried about money. We're taking vacations. We're spending time with each other. My daughter is happy because I can pay for all of her new sports equipment for her soccer practice. These are the things that you grow into over the course of your life. Don't expect to be in a great position when you're 22. Don't expect to be in a great position when you're 32. Just get there, guys. When you're 50, you know, you'll be in a much better spot if you started earlier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. I really enjoyed making it. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already and for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.